Hi everyone, Greeno here and welcome to another episode here on Greeno Eats. Now I'm down in Poole today, you can see behind me the sea there, that's Holes Bay. And we come down to a little fish and chip shop right on the bay here. It does some cracking fish and chips, so let's go and have a little look. Right then folks, so you'll have seen there on the receipt, we have got a small lunchtime special cod and chips, a lunchtime special battered sausage and chips. Basically you just get half a portion of chips with those, but that's good enough for a lunchtime. I also got a couple of little sundries. So we've got a curry sauce, always a favorite, but also a cod roe, which is basically fish eggs in batter, tastes better than it sounds, and a pineapple fritter. So let's get stuck into this and see how it all tastes. Right then, time to get stuck in. We'll start with the chips. For half a portion of chips, it's pretty good. And these are really cracking looking chips. Have a look at that. Beautiful golden color. Nice and crispy on the outside, they're very fresh. Plenty of salt on there too. Really, really tasty that is. Got some curry sauce here. Very, very thick curry sauce and a good sized portion too. Well, so thick. The chip snapped when I put it in. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's good. A really nice kick to it, that. Take a closer look at that. There you go, that looks great. Mm. Really nice. Let's take a look at this fish. So it's basically just like a big fish finger. It's like a half portion of cod. Really nicely battered there, you can see. Let's give it a try. It feels like quite a nice thick piece. Mmm. Mmm. That batter is very, very crispy. The fish, lovely and white and flaky, as you can see here. Mmm. It's only a small portion, but... Mm. For lunchtime, that is perfect. Mm, look at that. That really is good. Now this, my friends, is a pineapple fritter. So it's basically a, a tinned pineapple ring, which they put in batter and fry. This is actually uh, the teenagers. She's here with me today, although she doesn't want to be on camera right now. So I'm going to give it a little try and then pass it back to her, because this is for her. Mm. Very sweet. Quite juicy. <laughs> it's like a lovely little pudding, really. You can just imagine this. Like in a Chinese restaurant with maybe some kind of, sort of sweet chili syrup or something on there. Take a little look in there. You can see the pineapple ring. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Really works. Right, now this is one of my favourites. This is a real childhood treat this used to be. This is cod roe. So basically what this is, is cod eggs. You can use other you know, haddock or something like that. And they press it into a tin so it becomes like a solid cylindrical shape. And then you basically open the tin, cut slices off of it. Again, like everything else in the chippy, chuck it in batter, throw it in the fryer. So let's give this a go. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. That is absolutely beautiful. The cod roe is so soft, so kind of unctuous, crispy batter on there. That is amazing. You don't tend to find cod roe these days in too many chip shops. Maybe one out of every ten or so. But when you do, I always get it. I absolutely love it. I could eat half a dozen of these, no problem. Yum yum. 
Right guys, last but by no means least is again the teenagers battered sausage. Only a little one because it's in the lunchtime special deal. So jumbo sausage doesn't come with it. So I'm only gonna have a little bite. She'll go mad if I eat too much of it. Hmm. Do you know what? That's all right. I don't normally like a battered sausage, but the batter here is absolutely lovely. The sausage is pretty much what you'd expect from a chip shop. You can see there, bog standard kind of catering sausage, but with the batter on, it actually really works quite well. <laughs> Uh, what do you reckon to that folks i know you couldn't taste it but the look of it alone is really appealing and let me tell you that is some of the best fish and chips you're gonna find it's a little bit tucked away in pool a lot of places are down on the quay side where you may have seen i did the pool seafood festival video this is kind of tucked away on holes bay basically next to an asda but it is absolutely cracking they do have a sit down restaurant inside if you want to go and have a, a proper meal uh, that's very very good too but yeah for just a lunchtime takeaway all of that food came to about £12. Absolute bargain in my opinion. Plenty of chips. The fish, only a half portion, but good enough for lunchtime. And really, really high quality. Thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a 10 out of 10 from me for that one. Right, that's it from me down in Pool and the Lakeside Fish Bar. Absolute treat. I recommend it to anyone. If you're in the area, give it a try. If you've enjoyed what you've seen today, don't forget to click the little thumbs up button. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, then you know what to do. You click the subscribe button and ding your little bell for notifications and you won't miss anything that's coming up on the channel. I see I have a little helper in the background <laughs> here. <laughs> she wants you to subscribe too. So <laughs> yeah, you've got to listen to the teenager. All right, that's it from me. Greeno is over and out. I will catch you on the next one. Bye for now. Mm.